Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Zoe. And we're with the Santa Barbara Middle School Team Press. And we're here to cover the film Under Our Skin, which is a film about Lyme disease and the effects it has on people. After the film, we have the pleasure to interview the director, and we hope to get a really great interview. I didn't know what was happening to me. I thought I was going to die. He kept saying to us, I have no idea what this is. We have, I think, a horrible epidemic. It's the next tsunami. I used to do ballet. She just went downhill very fast. I went from being a gifted athlete to there's times when I, it's hard to put a shirt on. It just doesn't seem possible that this poppy seed sized thing is gonna make you bedridden, possibly for the rest of your life. There's Lyme disease everywhere. It's more prevalent than AIDS. How many more people are gonna suffer before the truth comes out? As citizens, we ought to be astonished and alarmed. The major medical journals have published that chronic Lyme disease is not real and it's a psychosomatic condition. Who are you here with? <laughs> oh, we're here with, oh my God. Uh -huh. we're here with uh, 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 this guy, Abraham, no, All right. Andy Abrahams, Andy Wilson Abrahams. Close enough, Andy Abrahams Wilson. <laughs> okay, so um, my question is, um, since Lyme disease is such a present issue, as we saw in the movie, so many people are struggling, how do you think we could get the message out that this is important, and why do you think it really is important to the future that we are aware of Lyme disease? Well, I think as you saw in the movie, you see how, how prevalent it is and how debilitating it is, um, that it's a much bigger deal than we think, and that here in California, it's a bigger deal than we think. So it's a threat to everybody. It's a threat to anybody who walks out into their backyard, which we all do. Um, so um, I, uh, again, I, I think awareness is, is the thing that's most important. And to spread awareness, you can show the movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. You said that you had a lot of physicians hang up on you when you were trying to talk to them to get a little bit more material for your film. Which rejection was the hardest for you to deal with, both emotionally and film-wise? Well, I like that you, that you talk about it that way, that you use the words emotion, because most people in our business don't think of emotions and don't think that, that, um, that what we're doing, that there is an emotional basis for it. So I'm glad you used that word. But um, I, I wouldn't say there was any of them. Were, I, I think the, the emotional aspect for me is that so many people are suffering and they're being ignored. And there's a, a body of of scientists and physicians who are neglecting people in need. So um, that has an emotional um, weight on me. Um, I can't understand why that's why that's allowed to happen. It's amazing that it's gone so long and such horrible things are still mm -hmm. happening. People aren't right. realizing what's happening to people all around us. Yeah. Amazing how many hands were raised in the audience. Mm -hmm. We go on biking trips and outdoor trips out of school. How could how could we prevent um, getting ticks and Lyme disease? Uh, I don't know if there is a way to prevent it, but you can be careful. You can be aware. You can know that you um, that it's a that that when you go out, you need to watch out for that. But I, I want to say that the movie that I made is not about prevention. It's not about telling people how not to get Lyme disease. So um, if you're interested in that, there's a lot of there's a lot of groups and organizations and literature that you can do to tell you exactly exactly that. Um, and I know you have to go, so this is our last question. Um, you said you showed in your video that many of the patients were being told by their doctors that they were just making it up and nothing was wrong with them. What's one thing that you would say to all the patients who were going through a similar circumstance? I think I would say you are not alone. And I think that's the most important thing that people who are going through this can hear, that they're not alone. That, that, um, and, and I think the other thing that I would say is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. 
um, many people don't believe that, and it's very hard to believe that when you're going through it. But um, for people who do believe it and do, I think, take their health into their own hands, they're the ones who who get to the other end. So I think those are the, the, the two most important things that you can take from this. Thank you. You're welcome. It is difficult for doctors who want to stand up and help these patients. Dr. Jim Sachs, license is suspended. There's a message that's going to be sent to the other doctors that it's not safe to take a blind patient on and treat them. I had to fight for what I got. I'm glad to be here. By the time you're so disabled, you're in a panic state. How do you know how to fix it? How do you know what to do?